I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from Luke chapter 14, and let's focus on verses 25 and 26. Now the great crowds were traveling with him, and so he turned and he said to them, If anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. And whoever does not bear his own cross to come after me cannot be my disciple. You know, I've been in the music business for about two decades, it's getting close to three decades. And in that time, I traveled worldwide. I've performed over a thousand concerts in all 50 United States. And from this unique vantage point, I've observed many different types of Christian congregations and their perceived requirements for salvation. Some feel that a person must simply believe, while others require believers to be baptized. Still others demand that a follower speak in strange tongues, and the list goes on. But I've never seen a congregation, at least here in the United States, that required its members to take up a literal cross as a sign of authentic faith. But that is precisely what Jesus is saying is a non-negotiable as pertains to true salvation. He says, whoever does not bear his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Now, if most mega churches emphasize this teaching, they would be destined to become micro churches overnight. So what is Jesus getting at? Well, he wasn't telling the people to become suicidal or sadistic, to be unloving, ungrateful, or ungracious. He was teaching those who were following him around the cost of discipleship. Nothing, not even love for father or mother or even one's own life, is to take precedence over loyalty to God. And we must reprioritize all that we have, acknowledging that if God is to be foremost in our lives, well then possessions and even social and family relationships must be secondary to Him. You know, Jesus' challenge would not be foreign to the religious Jewish people, those who would seek the word. Remember what happened on the day that the law was given by Moses? In response to Israel's worship of the golden calf, Moses saw that the people were out of control. And look at what the Bible says here. He says, And Moses stood at the camp's entrance and said, Whoever is for the Lord, come to me. And all the Levites gathered around him. And then he told them, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. Every man fasten his sword to his side and go back and forth through the camp from entrance to entrance and each of you kill his brother, his friend, and his neighbor. That's Exodus 32 verses 26 through 27. You know, the Levites obeyed the command in the days of Moses and the Bible says 3,000 men fell dead in that day because the selflessness of the Levites' faith uh, said that they would not spare any relationship which stood between the Lord and them. And they weren't randomly killing people, by the way. These were people who were instigating and propagating this golden calf worship. And so the Lord chose the Levites to be His priests throughout the generation. And He chose them because they chose Him. Jesus is not commanding His followers to kill people. Rather, He's emphasizing how important that it is for us to follow Him above all other relationships. Are you willing to choose to follow Jesus completely? As the song says, I surrender all, all to Him I owe, because that is the type of person that God is looking for, and Jesus is looking for to labor in His kingdom. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Check us out at groundworksministries.com.